I've travelled to Istanbul to meet this group of entertainers. Their performances, an artistic form of rebellion against the government, have become the soundtrack of a nationwide protest. They call themselves Kardesh Türküle, Songs of Solidarity. This is a last rehearsal before a major summer concert. I'm here to get a look at the role Kardesh Türküle plays in the protest movement and why this band of talented musicians opposes the government of Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Twenty-six-year-old Omer Ogun has been a member of Kardesh Tekula for years and is considered one of the best dancers. He's vehemently opposed to the Erdogan government and dedicated to encouraging dissent. They, they are really excited um, for such a lively performance that they are going to be seeing. It's not just a concert for them, I think. What I see on social media from a couple comments, they say that we are going there to feel the resistance and the protest. And that is Kardesh Turkula's strong suit. Their music is a powerful vocal rejection of the conservative Islamist government. The group itself is a colorful and eclectic mix of cultures. Kurds and Alawites, gays and heterosexuals, and one practicing Muslim. Umair takes me to the place that became world famous this summer, Gezi Park on Taksim Square in the heart of Istanbul. It's empty this evening, but a few months ago it was the scene of violent confrontations between security forces and thousands of protesters. Several lives were lost and thousands were injured. Back in June, uh, th there were all tents here, all around here, and thousands of people. But the police reoccupied the park. Now there is almost no one. And whenever there is a protest in around here, the park is closed by the police. So it's really the police's park in right now. Omer fears confrontation with the security forces. That's why he only comes here after dark. The next day, I visit Umer's apartment near the Bosporus. His roommate, Fidel Kilic, is a singer with Kardesh Turkula. Both are in Gezi Park when the protest movement was in its infancy. Fidel tries to explain why he's taken to the streets in protest. He says the government is constantly outlawing things like abortion and alcohol. It wants to force women to have at least three children. No one was doing anything about it. That's why he joined the demonstrators. Umer says he has become more careful since this summer. At the time, he was protesting every day, but now he's afraid of the police with their water cannon and tear gas. Five demonstrators have been killed so far. Sometimes Ogun feels he's abandoning the other demonstrators to fend for themselves. In the end, what he wants most is to live in peace. Later, I meet with another band member. 24-year-old Rumaysa Jamdarelli plays electric guitar and studies IT in her free time. It's easy to see by the headscarf that she is a practicing Muslim. I wonder what has brought her to protest the conservative Islamist government. 
This regime sells itself as the arbiter of political Islam, but nothing could be further from the truth. This government is neoliberal and favors the status quo. In other words, cold, hard capitalism. I'm not trying to say that Islam would foster socialist policies or something similar. But as a Muslim, I find it a shame to see the poor getting poorer and the rich getting richer. That goes against our religious beliefs. Rumes's ideology upsets just about everyone. Most fellow Muslims ostracize her because she takes the stage with homosexuals. But she also ruffled feathers among the protesters in Gezi Park. They belittled her as a government stooge because she wears a headscarf. It was awful. Some people insulted me outright. Others greeted me with open arms as if they were in charge and I was just a guest. That's why I tend to support the protest movement via Facebook and through my music. By that she means the protest songs of Kardesh Turkula. This evening they will take the stage in what's billed as their biggest concert of the summer. It will be heavenly. People should believe in themselves again. It's wonderful to be united with so many supporters of the Gezi protests and hear the music of Kardesh Turkulur. Estimated 4,000 fans attend. Singer Faryal Unai fires up the crowd, telling them the protests in Gezi Park are proof that they can achieve the lofty goals of freedom, equality, and solidarity. They chant, Gezi is everywhere, Taksim is everywhere. It's a special evening for the musicians and concert goers alike. What they don't know is that another demonstrator was killed during clashes with police. The violence took place several hundred kilometers from Istanbul, the sixth casualty since the protest movement began. The next day, the tension is palpable on the streets of Istanbul. Another major illegal demonstration is scheduled. The police are out in force. Many of the band members of Kardesh Turkula have left the city for a few days. The demonstrators have vowed to retake Gezi Park. Special forces will do everything in their power to keep that from happening. The protests start out peacefully, despite the first scent of tear gas. Suddenly, violence erupts. Tear gas stings the eyes and burns the skin. This woman has lost track of her friend in the tumult. Another says she feels a special kinship with those who've died in the struggle. I'm here because of my killed friends yesterday and, and last month. Six of my friends. 
Alo. Many injuries are reported and dozens are arrested. The demonstrators failed in their attempt to retake Gezi Park. Security forces maintain control. Much of the protest movement is rooted in the students attending Bosporus University in Istanbul. That includes Rumaysa, the IT specialist. But these days, her studies have taken a backseat to the demonstrations. During rehearsals for their next concert, the band members discuss the ongoing political movement and what they can do to help. I can't just pick up my guitar after a demonstrator is killed. I don't even want to play sad songs. I'd rather take to the streets and demonstrate. But our music plays an important role among the people. So we have to keep going. Umer also has been deeply moved by the events of the past few days. He's taken courage from it all. He's ready to join the protest movement again. It, it's important to be on streets, I guess, and I'll try, to, I'll try my best to continue that. So I'm heading that way to the protest. On this day, there are no major confrontations, but the police presence is overwhelming. So much has happened over the past few days. Romer's band has fired up the demonstrators with its summer concert, and he has conquered his own inner fears. But the fear of renewed violence remains.